So your recruiter is on the phone with the driver and everything seems to be going swimmingly. They set a date for orientation and it's all good. Then the driver doesn't show. You just got ghosted. And as my two-year-old daughter would say, what happened? If this has ever happened to you or your team, you're in luck because today on the Recruiting Roundup, we're taking on ghosting. Well, how to reduce it. But first, if you're watching this video and you're a fan of our content, but you have not yet clicked that subscribe button, what are you doing to me? Just click it, click the button and click the bell at the bottom too. It helps me, it helps you, everybody's happy. Now, let's go ghost busting. A driver no showing for orientation doesn't just happen. If a driver ghosts your orientation, there's a reason. Orientation is just the final step in a process. So if a driver is continually ghosting orientation, that means there's something wrong, or at the very least something that can be made better earlier in your process. And it all starts with a phone call. There's a lot of information flying around during your recruiting call, and it can be easy for recruiters to just go down the list and try to tick the boxes, making sure they have everything they need. But there are subtle cues that can tip off a savvy recruiter that the driver is primed to ghost. If there are consistent long pauses or silence from the driver, or maybe a shift in tonality, like a disappointed, hmm, oh, after you discuss a certain subject like, I don't know, equipment or home time, that driver could be ready to do their best Casper impression and is just biding their time to get off the phone. That's why your recruiters have to be on top of their game. Getting all the information is of course important, but they can't just jump right in. It's important to try and build a rapport and make sure that they find out what really matters to the driver so that they can effectively align the call and information that's being given. Your recruiters need to be able to tailor their approach to each individual driver. If you're not sure how to do this or think your team could benefit from some improvement, we have some great in-depth video content covering recruiting calls like our last episode of Digging Deeper that featured Seth Becker and Scott Maldonado. And Listening In With Seth has a whole series of episodes covering how to build and have the perfect driver recruiting call. So if you'd like some more in-depth information about how to build rapport or improve your calls in general, check those out, links below. But for the purposes of this video, I'm just gonna keep it very, very simple. If you're being ghosted, it probably comes down to the fact that your driver was never sold on your fleet to begin with. So what can you do to change this? When the call is wrapping up, ask the driver what excites them about your fleet and even just ask what you discussed in general. If they don't have anything to say or they can't readily answer that question, your recruiter has got some more work to do. But if you can get them to list what they liked, I like the home time, I like the equipment you run, stuff like that. Not only are they basically reminding themselves about the positive things you discussed, but they are essentially beginning to sell themselves on why they need to come work with you. If you're having a hard time making that connection, try video. Jump on a video or FaceTime call with them. Follow up with a video text to keep them engaged and put a face to the voice. It's a lot harder to ghost on someone after you've spoken face to face, even if it's only virtually. You could also try bringing in a peer recruiter or for a valuable driver, you really want to land even someone from operations to talk about how excited they are to get them on the team. And if you're using video, you can give them a peek around the office space to see who they'll be working with. Again, it becomes much less likely for a driver to ghost when they have met multiple points of contact within your fleet. Put faces to the voices, introduce more team members, and get them invested in your fleet right from the start. And I say, who they will be working with, because again, it's not if they come and work with you, it's when you come on board, then A, B, C, you get the picture. And finally, never end a call without clear direction. If you send an app, ask, okay, when do you think you can have this done for me tomorrow? When you get this back to me before 11 a.m. tomorrow, here's what we're gonna do next, etc. Give firm timelines and expectations and nail down exactly what the process is moving forward. When a driver buys in and they start to understand and own what's going on in the process, the chances of them ghosting are dramatically reduced. So engage with them and build rapport. Look for many cues during the call that could tip off that they're not completely sold. Make sure your recruiters are tailoring calls and aligning the, aligning the messaging to each individual driver. Use this newfangled tech to get video involved. Introduce more members of your team if need be and never end the call without a clear understanding of what happens next. If you begin to implement even some of these, you will see results. Thanks for joining me. We'll be back with another recruiting roundup next month. For Randall Riley, I'm Joshua Miller. See you next time.